Hi, everyone. My name is Jesse Hilton, and I'm a product manager on the Copilot team in Visual Studio. Today, I'm excited to show you how I've been combining vibe coding with spec driven development to bring my ideas to life using Copilot. Let's get into it. I've got this application, and I'll show you a screenshot of what it looked like before I started this process. It is a pretty rough vibe coded Pomodoro app. I gave the agent maybe one prompt and I didn't give it any specificity. It made a lot of choices on its own. And that can be really great when you're vibe coding. You're trying to get a rapid prototype out with the base functionality. But now I have some real requirements. I want to turn this Pomodoro app into a transitions timer, something to help me out when I'm moving between meetings, um, help me figure out when to start winding down for my current task and start kind of loading up the context for my next task. And so what I've done here is I've taken a spec driven approach. I have this idea file and you can see it's got all of these different sections kind of talking about the new features that I want to add. Wind down timer that I have here and the countdown. I didn't create this file all on my own. I actually used Copilot to be my partner and kind of bounce ideas off of it. So if I zoom in over here, you can see that my starter prompt said, let's ground this project, these new features into the project that we already created. Take a look at the readme that we built together when we were vibe coding. And now here's kind of a rough idea of the features that I want to add. And finally, in order to guide it to kind of use this conversational approach with me and check with me at every step to make sure I'm happy with the result, I used a prompt file. So let me show you what that prompt file looks like. This prompt file is super generic. It doesn't have anything specific in it for the project that I want to use. And that's totally on purpose. I like having these prompt files be super templated. I can reuse them over and over again when I have a new idea. And so you can see that it's guided to clarify any areas of my proposal that might need more details. And I want it to iterate with me until I am satisfied. Once I am satisfied, it's going to go ahead and create this file that I showed you before. So you can see in my chat history, it actually came back with some great suggestions. And then I was able to kind of give it a little bit more guidance here. I even gave it an example of how I wanted it to implement some of the rows when it was adding these new buttons. And I also used this part of my prompt to kind of guide it to update my README and make sure that all my documentation was staying up to date as I made new decisions and as I iterated with Copilot. So you can see this is way different than vibe coding where you're kind of just like working back and forth with short, quick prompts, kind of going at stream of consciousness. This is kind of taking the time to write down all of your requirements in a way that's really principled so that there's not a lot of decisions left up to Copilot to make and you can make sure that you're steering it in exactly the, dire the direction that you want it to go. So once I had my idea file, I used a couple more prompt files to help me get to the spec version. And this is what the spec ended up looking like. It's a little bit more detailed and I continued to refine this with Copilot. And I also gave it some things to think about that it brought up that I hadn't considered in my original ideas. So it's really great to have Copilot there to kind of bounce my ideas off of it. And then finally, I turned that spec into a plan using another templated prompt file. This one kind of keeps the implementation simple and it helps me end up with this kind of overarching plan, step-by-step -step guide of how I wanna implement this project. So once I have this, it's as simple as just feeding this in when I switch over to agent mode. I can go ahead and feed in this plan and I know that agent mode is not gonna go off the rails. So I have a chat thread where I've already completed that. If I scroll all the way back to the top, I went ahead and said, go ahead and implement my plan that I created. And I had it in my implement prompt. I had it do it step by step. And so it's doing each of these steps. It's checking it off as it goes. And I can confirm for myself that it kind of stayed on the rails and did all of the uh, implementation in a way that I had helped kind of figure out how to decide what to do there. Once I ran that all through and got all the testing done, the final app ended up looking like this. So if you remember what it looked like before, we didn't have any of those additional buttons. And now here, it actually created these functional buttons with a checklist that I can use. Um, and this was exactly to the requirements and standards that I had laid out. I'm excited to like continue iterating on this. I might decide to do it in a vibe coded way, 
if I want Copilot to make a lot of decisions for me, or I might take a specter of an approach again. So you can see that kind of no matter where you are and however you like to work with Copilot, it's kind of there to work with you. And you can use these different approaches um, to bring your ideas to life. So thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.